I'm Beer Snob Rob, and we are at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Yes, the Animal Kingdom. And uh, we are going to participate in a four park challenge today. We are going to go to all four parks, and we're going to do at least one ride at each park. And we're also going to have at least, at least, one drink at each park. And some of you might think, wait, that's a little bit difficult, uh, especially at Magic Kingdom. We're gonna show you how. So, stay tuned and, uh, well, yeah, it's five o'clock somewhere, let's get started. Thank you. Thank you. We have gone on Expedition Everest and it's about time to get this thing going. Uh, that's gonna be our ride for this park. Here we go, Lou. <laughs> oh no. Just kidding. It's not scary yet, but there it is behind us. We're gonna go see the Yeti. See you soon. Well, uh, we made it, Lou. I screamed like that. My throat is sore. That was a great ride. We had a fun time. And um, I need a drink to loosen up my throat. Yeah! Broke it back. That is Expedition Everest, and we have just conquered Everest. Yes! Um, really enjoy that ride, except for that one part where I'm like, I gotta really hold on. Um, <laughs> yelled, yelled a bit, as I love to do. Need to uh, get my voice back, so we're heading to the Yak and Yeti restaurant for a drink. I mean, it's enough of this, but we're staying in the Himalayas, I suppose. So let's go to the Yak and Yeti. Here we go. Lou, tennis the spot at the bar? Yes. Let's see what they've got. I've narrowed it down to the Yak Attack, uh, the Kiwi Coconut Ring Tank. The tropical daiquiri or the bikini breeze. <laughs> <laughs> You've narrowed it down quite a bit, then yeah, I would say. Yeah. Look at all the food. This looks awesome. Uh, I am not worrying about narrowing. I'm having the kiwi coconut right now. So you do what you want to do. That's what I'm. Yeah. Check out. Collection of rodents. Yoda, Batman. I believe I found them with. Yak and Yeti drinks. So, Park One, Animal Kingdom. Uh, Expedition Everest ride, drinks, you got the kiwi and coconut margarita, you have the yak attack, which is mango, rum, and something else. Well, cheers then. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Yeah. Cheers. Oh, it's nice. It's frozen. Wow. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, that's good. Um, somehow I forgot that it was going to be a margarita. What? Because of the whole kiwi and coconut piece, so it tasted like a margarita. And we're like, oh yeah, that's right, tequila in it. Switcheroo. That's good. Those are some good drinks. Excellent drinks here at the Yakimedi. And um, yeah, let's enjoy these. And for lunch. <laughs> uh, you might not believe that um, someone of my uh, beer snob stature would, would be a fan of a lettuce wrap. However, oh my goodness, I love a lettuce wrap. So, go some of this, get a little bit of a uh, spicy, little spicy sauce up in there, throw some crunchy carrots. Bean sprouts in there. Is it delicious though? Yummy. Two thumbs up. We track down. We track down the secret menu. 
and I'm about to order a forbidden libation. I'm having another one, buddy. Okay, so we finished up on the lettuce wraps. We have uh, found out about a secret menu, so check it out. When you take a phone, there's a special tag underneath Buddha here, and it rings out. Forbidden libations. So this one is run by the bartender and staff here, and it pops up and it gives you some secret drinks. Only available this way. Super cool. So this is what I've settled on, Sherpa Fuel. And why settle on Sherpa Fuel? Because am I normally a bourbon kind of guy? No, I'm not. But bourbon, a splash of pineapple juice, a dash of coconut cream, makes it sound like it's gonna be good. And it's Long Island Margarita. That's So, um, Sherpa fuel for me because I've helped Lou out with everything on her bike before. Yes, you were a Sherpa. So I have been a Sherpa. So I need a little fuel to hit the road. And we are going to be headed on to Hollywood Studios. We're going to wrap up these drinks, hit the road, and get on to the rest of the parks. Because guess what? It's already... Oh my, it's 1.15 in the afternoon, Lou. The parks close at 9, the first two parks. We gotta I got a bikini. What was bikini it? Bikini breeze. breeze. Bikini breeze. Bikini breeze for Lou. She likes a bikini breeze. I got me some bourbon. We've wrapped up at Animal Kingdom. Now, the nice part about uh, Disney parks is that you can get on the bus. So we're actually going to ride the bus, Lou, Woo! from Animal Kingdom over to Hollywood Studios. Then from Hollywood Studios, we're going to get on the Skyliner to Epcot. And then from Epcot to Magic Kingdom, we're going to go on the monorail. So we're going to go on quite a few different transportations. We started off with an Uber this morning. Yes. Lyft, actually. But we're headed to Hollywood Studios now via the bus. Onward. We're at Disney's Hollywood Studios, and now it's time for part two, drink two. We're going to drink the tray. Tower. We have the secret drink. Oh, part two, <laughs> drink three. <laughs> <laughs> we did go secret menu. Anyway, we're going to the Hollywood Tower of Terror, and uh, I think I heard something about some moonshine on the way. Let's see what happens. On stormy night long ago, five people oh, stepped no. through the door of an elevator. And again. Nah. That door is opening once again, and this time, it's opening for you. We're on the move. This is what Lou and I look like if we can get in. We're scared. Are you scared? Yeah. This is my brother's favorite ride. <laughs> Isn't and it though? Trey's. Your brother and Trey's favorite ride. You are about to discover what lies beyond the fifth dimension, beyond the deepest, darkest corner of the imagination.
There was quite a few shakes. Yeah, good. And now we have uh, finished up on the Tower of Terror. It was a great ride, really enjoyed it. Now we're at Baseline Tap House, which is here in Hollywood Studios. And um, I have picked up the Golden Road Hefeweizen. It is a 5% Hefeweizen, imagine that. And um, yeah, it's really nice. It's, um, it's gonna be nice and refreshing, which is what I was looking for. Not super hoppy, because that is not my favorite thing, as you know. Yeah, just a nice place, have a nice beer, in the shade, and then we're gonna head back out. But before we do that, let's talk through Lou's drink. Lou, what you got? I have a California Sunset. I believe so. I think that's what it's called. It is um, vodka, orange juice, Southern Comfort, and some, what was the other thing? Some floater. Oh, palm green juice. <laughs> palm green juice. Yeah, so it was palm, there it is. Yeah, I got a little sun, sunset it's going very on. nice. Is it? Mm hmm Nice. Bit of sweet, bit of sour. Tasty. That's good. Always nice. So this is at the corner where you've got uh, Star Tours over there, and there's an ad ad in the woods you can't see. That is um, um, Pizza Rizzo, which uh, the lights change, and it says it's Rat Pizza across the way. Uh, Muppet Studio over there in that corner. Uh, so yeah, just a nice place to hang out and a couple of nice drinks and I think what onward next too? Yeah, we'll finish these and then we're moving on to Epcot. Yeah, and there's a fun way to get there. So we'll show you that as we get on it. All right. What is this? Cable car. Cable car also known as Disney style. All right. Possibly all to ourselves. Yeah, you never get that. Um, okay, so that was Hollywood Studios, and now we are off to Epcot, but there's a stop part way. Well, we have to get off and switch lines. Remember that one? Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, I can't remember where the stop is, Riviera or something like that. Anyway, let's move over here and check it out. What do you think it is? Is it a, or is it a Brinoloris for the Caribbean Beach Resort? Maybe. Bryn and Laura's, that's a great place to call it. So uh, your your brother and sister-in-law, Bryn and Laura, stayed at the Caribbean Beach Resort. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner at Disney Hollywood Studios. We are on our way to Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort with connecting flights to Epcot International Gateway, Disney's Pop Century Resort, and Disney's Art of Animation Resort. Okay, so you were right. We, we are headed. We hope you enjoyed your visit to Hollywood today. Ren and Laura's, yeah. Now wave goodbye to your adoring fans below. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye, suckers that are riding the bus and getting a lift. All right. We seem to have stopped. Oh, this is okay. It so seems let's. Like when you stop recording, <laughs> the skyline has stopped. Good news. I hadn't stopped recording. So here's what we okay. should do. Let's demonstrate for everyone else what happens if you get stuck on the Skyliner. Because we learned this. Oh, that one's got a... Look at that. There is an emergency kit of water and snacks and first aid. It's underneath the seat. That is a little, like, uh, top secret? I was going to say a well-known secret. That's not correct. So there's a little secret pouch down there. It's not under both benches. On one of these, um, it was open, wasn't it? No. Yes. It always has. It always ha is cable tied. Otherwise, people would help themselves. We opened one of them. We didn't bust the cable tie. Oh, you weren't with me. No, you opened one. <gasps> oh, I was with Josh and Craig. <gasps> okay. So I was with Josh and Craig. In just a few moments. So that's Josh, geocaching vlogger, Craig, see my shelf, right? So we were on this, and I showed them. And there were two other people on with us. And uh, so what's inside is water pouches. You know, like, it says emergency water pouch. So it's like um, a Capri Sun. Oh, right. Right? So... Any snacks? Um, I don't remember there being any snacks. 
so uh, we also talked about the fact that that uh, buttonhole camera is very easy to put in any of the holes on top of this thing. So it's not best uh, practice to, to, to go ahead and pop the. No, wow. not that. Um, it's not best practice to go ahead and open that anyway, even though it's not an emergency. Uh, today we've got a nice breeze going through. This is feeling good. And Did you know with that, that ding, we'll see you on the way to Epcot. Coming in for landing, our first one. This is like the docking bay for the ones going into maintenance. Wow, this is like a roller coaster ride. That was almost a matter of fact. Do you have whiplash from that? Ah, my neck. Oh, oh I actually just popped my neck. Yikes. Well, it turns into like. A climb. <laughs> no, it turns into. Turns into the speed of um, unloading of even slower than the haunted mansion pulling up. Oh, but there was also there was a couple of strollers and whatnot. Here's your bag. <laughs> hey, by the way, check it out. Um, Lou's, Lou's dress and my shirt. Yes, we are that cute matching couple. Yes. <laughs> Lou's fault. All right, off to the Caribbean Beach Resort. Thanks. Oh, <laughs> Did you hear that? He just said, oh, love the, love the matching outfits. Totally, can you believe that? I just said it and totally unprompted. Love the matching outfits. Matchy, matchy. I think he was taking a pic. <laughs> okay, so we just came off of the Skyliner from Hollywood Studios. There it is coming over us. And uh, we didn't video on the section from the Caribbean beach to Epcot because we met um, a guy whose uh, college roommate was an Imagineer and built the um, Naboo, or uh, not Naboo, but Batu. the Batu. there we go, um, the Star Wars land over there at Hollywood Studios. So just had a super fun conversation with them. And because of that, here we are, we made it to Epcot. So woohoo, we're gonna <laughs> check in. And we're meeting up with my son, and then we're gonna have a drink. So, here we are in France. Bonjour. This is Lou's favorite place, but I think we should turn left and go to the UK so we feel more at home. Ready, Lou? Yep. Let's go. So this is basically like the English Channel. You either cross it to go to France, or you stay in good old England. Uh, what are we gonna do? I think, <laughs> let's go this way. So the, the thing about the World Showcase, which there's the banner, is that you have how many different places to go and 11 or 12 choose. different countries okay yeah so we've got a ton of options of where we want to go so we are turning left from this place when you come in from the other end you either go toward mexico or you go toward canada we usually choose mexico today we're going through the uk because we're catching up with trey yes let's go and find him let's go find him All right, so we found Trey, and now we're at our third park. We're going on our third ride. It's Spaceship Earth. This is the one that's inside the big ball at Epcot. At Epcot, and it is, um, well, some people think it's a lot of fun. One of them is behind the camera, and then there's people like me. So it's a nice, slow-moving, dark ride, and... Dark ride, for good for your light-up popcorn. Oh, yeah. Oh, is it? Ooh. Sweet! Spaceship Earth, here it is. Blue. We having a good time yet? Yes. Three. It's the electric cinema. Look at this. Radio. Coming up next. Television. Attention, you are now rotating backward. We return to Earth. Please remain seated, time travelers. Attention, travelers. Please remain seated. Terrifying spin. Your time. Yeah. Oh, uh, wrong choice for me. Uh -huh. Interesting. Wrong again. Remote control can take care of anything you forgot. 
World Showcase at Epcot and we have started off in Mexico because when we walk into the World Showcase, we believe this is the direction you should go first. Mexico first, all the way around to Canada. We're passing on Mexican drinks today though. Right? Yeah. We're gonna yeah, pass. We had a few of them yesterday. <laughs> we did. We came yesterday for Valentine's Day. Had a nice meal in there. Uh, there's probably another video out about that one. Maybe. We recorded one. Uh, then um, we're headed to Norway. Probably gonna pass through Norway and headed on to China because there's a drink that you want to look at at least. Yeah, it looks like a nice pink drink. Ooh. There's also a lovely sunset coming too, I think. Oh, well then. Perhaps you'll have a pink drink from China and a very nice sunset. Oh, well, we'll take a peek at that. Oh yeah, that's some nice colors. All right, so we're gonna try and find a drink to enjoy the sunset. That's what sundowners. Sundowners. Thank you. Silk River Hard Lemonade for you. We've heard about it. Oh, look at all of this. It's just drinks. Okay. Sunset. Perfect time for some sun downers. I have the Lucky Foo Pale Ale from China. Uh, let's give it a sample. Oh, that's happy. Nice one. Um, Maybe you might prefer this. Oh, <laughs> what are you saying? It's very pink and it's very my speed. I'm not gonna take the first sip though. It's actually yours. Come on, pass me. All right, you stand here with the sunset behind you. This is I your drink. What was it called? Uh, some sort of silky, hard lemonade. Silky Road hard lemonade, I think. I've actually heard nothing good about it, but it looks beautiful, but it tastes terrible. People say it's like eating um, detergent. Oh, really? Or drinking detergent, yeah. Well, that sounds delicious. What do you think? Detergent must be my thing. Oh, so it's good. I thought it smelled okay. Yeah, it's nice. It actually doesn't taste so much at all. Oh. It's meant to be coconutty. Vodka kind of tastes like water. It's probably it's been sitting there for a while. Use the straw and um, oh, because the they water? they had several of them served up just sitting there waiting. And since it's not popular because everyone says it tastes terrible, maybe it uh, maybe it's just been sediment. That tastes a little bit more detergenty, now, I guess. <laughs> Imagine that. Give it a stir. It's alright. It's not terrible. Hey, you try. See what you think. The sun itself is uh, ducked down. Let's see. Oh, wait. That's not how I... Oh, no. No. I mean, that's it's all right, isn't it? I, you, don't, you didn't taste any flavors? Because I'm, I'm getting some, some good coconut going on. Some? Mm -hmm. Oh. There was a little extra whenever I sipped that one. What's this? Desiccated coconut. Yeah, <laughs> desiccated. You tried to tell me that was a word one time, and then you had to prove it to me by looking it up. And it was. And it actually is. That's just like candy on the side, so I it's love nice. that. I think this is a good drink. Good. I like mm -hmm. it. I'm glad we tried it. It's beautiful. It's really nice. This, I just pour out, but... <laughs> That's the smallest $5.50 beer that I've bought today. <laughs> yeah, check out the rest of China because this is a super cool area. Um, that's what's nice about all the different worlds in, uh, in Epcot, in the World Showcase, is that they, they bring some of the cultural feel. They also are mostly staffed by uh, people who are actually from the location. I did notice that uh, the guy who um, served us was speaking Spanish and uh, the person who actually like took the order from Orlando so uh, not exactly <laughs> representative of China 
maybe there are some reasons for that, I do not know. But the rest of the world, um, whenever we've stopped at different places, we definitely have talked to people who are from those locations, so Germany, Italy, America over there, um, Morocco, Japan, uh, the, the France, another one in Canada, the UK, obviously, too. So, good times? Bottoms up? And now what? Oh. We've done oh. the ride here, we've done... Okay, so, recap if you will. We started the day at Animal Kingdom. We went to Yak and Yeti. We had some nice drinks there off of the secret menu. Very good, the forbidden libations. Uh, we then moved on to uh, Hollywood Studios. We rode the bus from, from uh, Animal Kingdom to Hollywood Studios. Had a nice beer at Baseline. We went on uh, the Tower of Terror. Oh, Animal Kingdom, we went on Expedition Everest. Tower of Terror at Hollywood Studios. We traveled here by Skyliner. Um, the cable car, which was a lot of fun. Uh, hang out with Trey for a little bit, and we went on Spaceship Earth. Now we've had the, these Chinese drinks. And next, Lou, we're gonna walk back up to the front. We're going past Spaceship Earth, past the ball. Um, we're going to the monorail. We're gonna ride the monorail to the Transportation and Ticket Center, and from there we will catch the monorail over to the Magic Kingdom, where we are going to Skipper Canteen, yes! a great restaurant over there and it's one of only a few places that you can actually get an alcoholic beverage in the Magic Kingdom so stick with us let's go to the monorail we didn't quite make it as far as the monorail we got sidetracked on the way we noticed that we had a bit of time so we decided that we'd make it a double drink park uh, no better place than Epcot for that uh, and actually we got three drinks <laughs> because they had a flight yeah I'm super excited about it too so what's cool about the Festival of Arts is that they give you a card telling you about the flights, which that was probably backwards since we're filming that way. I think but, it adjusts, but I don't know. Don't know either. Uh, so this one is a play on rosé flight. It's uh, the beer, or sorry, this is a cider from uh, St. Petersburg, Florida. It's Three Daughters Brewing, and I can't get it to come out of the cardboard without spilling it. I wasn't gonna just pull it out of the box and spill it everywhere. Um, can we lean that so that you can be in it too? Let's see, there we can. Mmm, a rosé cider, Lou, check it out. Ooh. Right? Quite nice. I mean, you like rosé, I like rosé too. Rosé all day. That's quite nice. Yeah, when it's sunny out, it's a good day for a rosé. What's this one? So this one is the, 81 Bay Brewing Company. This is a rosé blonde ale. Mm. I mean, this is probably going to be a bit hoppier. Well, it's going to be a beer. It's not pink, so I don't know why they call it rosé. Oh, okay, that's why. Oh, it tastes rosé. Yeah, it's got a little fruity edge to it. That tastes like one of your weird sours. It, but it's not sour at all. Oh. No, but it's got a nice, um, that's actually really good, isn't it? I like that a lot. That's a good one. And finally, the Frosé. It's frozen rosé. Here, you taste this one first. Thank you. Ladies first, after I did it twice. That's nice. Nice? You're going to drink this one. It's a little bit like medicine. No, that tastes a lot bit like medicine. <laughs> Cold medicine is what I need. Oh, no? That's actually really good too. Nice. My goodness. They're so, very nice. A play on Rose Flight, we give it six thumbs up. Four. Four thumbs up. Anyway, that's been fun. This was Two Drink Park Epcot because Epcot is the adult park yes. in all the Walt Disney World uh, opportunities. This is the place everyone's stumbling. I mean, everyone's wandering around the world. They're all getting drinks, having a great time. Uh, so we joined them. Any other thoughts about our German drinks before we actually head to the monorail? No, we'll try not to get sidetracked on the way I might stop in Canada, just so you know. See you at the monorail? Oh yeah, we forgot to mention, 
that we picked up a little uh, short rib in Germany as well. And we took the first bites and it was like, you know what? This needs to be talked about as well. That's fantastic food. I really love making videos, stopping, getting restarted. When it's about something that's really good. Got some nice mashed potatoes. What do you think? Yummy. Canada. We still didn't get to the monorail. I got sidetracked again as we were coming through Canada. Rob went and got some popcorn. I told you that we were not going to make it all the way. Popcorn, <laughs> it's maple popcorn, maple babe. Popcorn. You cannot pass this up. So good. And I went to the bar and I got you a Whole Hog Brewery Raspberry Sherry Double Radler beer. And I have a Schlumberger Cube Brut glass of fizz. You know what so the good. only problem is with this one? Cheers, by the way. What? Only problem with this one? It's tiny. It's and tiny, this is a good but we one. now need to make a move because otherwise we're going to be late for our reservation. Let's go. We really are heading for the monorail now. Radio We made it. Magic Kingdom. We need to get to our reservation. It's time. Oh. Are you worried about time? Yes. We have a full five minutes. Is it four? Four minutes. We have walked into Magic Kingdom. So we wandered around Epcot, as we've just shown you. And we, we were having a good old time, I would say. I mean, I got some popcorn. We had how many drinks, did you say? Three drinks stopped. Three drinks one stopped. Of stopped. So we had three drinks. But the drinks were <laughs> tiny, so <laughs> they're basically like little samples. So three drink stops at our third stop, and that means how many drink stops do we have at Magic Kingdom? Sadly, this is our fourth park. Oh. Fourth park should be four. Get a drink All right. Well, so that that's the little tip that we would have for you is you have to make a reservation in Magic Kingdom in order yeah. to get an alcoholic beverage here you have to be able or you have to go to a sit-down restaurant and a skipper canteen is our personal favorite there are a couple of other options but i'm not even going to share those with you we're just going to go with go to skipper canteen it's so, busy because the fireworks oh yeah are just about to start well right. they're not just about to start but people like lining up ages in advance Ooh, i just so, dinged that kid in the head with my magic popcorn bucket Show everybody the castle and then we need to go. Okay, we have two minutes. Here's the castle, and here's Lou walking very fast toward the reservation. <laughs> Look at the crowds. Good times. Well, I got us here. Hey Lou, first check that out. It's like, that's cooling you above you. It's a sweet fan air conditioner. That guy over in the corner? That's Dr. Albert Falls, founder of the Jungle Navigation Company. This is his place. And we're about to go check it out. Oh, sneak peek. on the main dining area. Cool. There we go. Hey, Lou. Skipper Canteen, we made it. <laughs> we made it. Good to clean here. I'm into the secret menu item. What's it called? Uh, I don't Some remember sort of what bread. it's called. Brazilian cheese bread. Cheesy bread thing with pesto and it's yummy. Yeah. I have a glass of Pinot Noir. Red wine, rather nice. And what have you got? Uh, I've got the Congaloosh Ale. Congaloosh is the skipper greeting. Yeah, skipper greeting to each other. It's a, a howdy type of greeting. Congaloosh. It's like a spiced ale. Um, it's actually really good. 
I like it. Uh, not my first time to have this one. It's really good. Uh, so they Skipper Canteen used to have Skipper Dan's Dan Dan noodles, uh, which were fantastic and also a, a play on the Weird Al Yankovic song, uh, Skipper Dan. And um, so they, they had the noodles. It was a really great Dan Dan noodle bowl. It's no longer here. So I'm very sad about that, but this will help. Um, so I'm gonna have the uh, vegetable crew stew with chicken. So not the uh, vegetarian version. Yeah, oh, curry, yeah, it is a curry. I forgot, yep. So we're just hanging out in the mess hall and uh, now it's time to order. All right, so we finished up eating at the Skipper Canteen, which was lovely as usual, except for that old Dan Dan noodles thing. Uh, but now, yo-ho, yo-ho, pirate's life for me, bottles of rum and whatnot. We're going on the Pirates of the Caribbean, and that's going to be park number four, ride number four, and we've already had all the drinks in case you can't tell. Yo-ho, let's go. Hello. You're sitting on the wet corner, aren't you? Yeah. You sit on the wet corner, not me. Uh, what do I need to do? Well, uh, uh We're on Pirates of the Caribbean. Lou just said I need to tell her where the photo is in advance so we can do a four because this will be our fourth part. Can you tell me where the photo is? by Will Turner, as in Orlando Bloom, in the movies. So, what do you think of that? That's amazing. Look at that. Pirate. So much cool stuff. You know what we need to do that we haven't done? No, we already did that. We haven't done any pen trading. We should do that real quick. All right? So... Here's the other thing, as we end our evening that we've actually been doing all day long but we haven't really talked about, uh, is a quick pin trade. We found it, so here it is. So. What's that one? Tin Man or something? No, he's uh, like from the Carousel of Progress. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. my status number? There we go. Oh, it's some sort of like a beetle thing. Mm -hmm. Not saying anything that I am no. totally in love with. All right. Uh, I think we're on to another ride. Or are we? I think we got time for another ride. Maybe. Ten we'll see. Yeah, we've got time. Which offers you this chilling challenge to find a way out. <laughs> Hello. Of course, there's always my way. <laughs> so 
a doom buggy. Disney World four parks in one day challenge? Adventure. Adventure. That's Marathon. a good word for it. <laughs> so all four parks. Uh, we did a ride. We had a drink or more in each of the parks. Uh, we won't talk about what the cost was. Um, we both have an annual pass, so that's helpful. But if you were coming here and buying a park hopper ticket to make it happen, yikes. yikes. Watch out. And uh, then there's the drinks and the food. But anyway. Um, no fireworks tonight, uh, so we will not be able to bring that to you, so maybe tune in for a future one. We'll do this again <laughs> and include some fireworks, you know, so maybe that'll happen. So anyway, it's been a lot of fun. Thanks, babe. Enjoyed the time, yeah. Anything else? Nope. That's please it. like, please comment, please subscribe to yeah. Rob if you don't already, and we'll see you soon. We'll bring you more. Bye, everyone. See ya.